So this video goes out to all you Reddit tier thinkers out there, and also all you edgy teenagers. I want to talk about uh, how people understand the word rational, or irrational, or, you know, logical, or other stuff like this. Um, because I think um, there's a lot of things that are going wrong in the world, and I think it comes from a kind of rational deconstruction of the world around us. Um, now, I'm going to make a very elementary, I think, something I think of as a very elementary note, but I, think, I don't think it, it's not either said enough or the implications of it aren't adequately stated. And that is, humans are not fit to understand the world around us. And I don't mean that, that oh, there are things about the universe we don't know, or something like that. I mean that we have evolved uh, and developed mental capacities and mental habits and, you know, logical bags of tricks that are not sufficient to understand everything around us. They're not sufficient to, we cannot sit down and logically deduce the universe. It's not going to happen. In fact, uh, you know, the road to hell is sort of paved with people who have deductive ideologies and they rationally work out how everything should work and then they destroy everything. Okay. So when it comes to rationality, well, I'll, I'll save to the end my point, but um, let, let's put it this way. So there's a tendency for, uh, well, we'll put it this way. Okay, so humans, let's say something like quantum mechanics, because people, I don't know, it's, it's like pe some people talk about, it's like a buzzword almost. But quantum mechanics is a good example of something in science where we are sort of being exposed to a mechanism of the universe that it isn't just like, oh, we didn't, un we didn't know about it before, but it's something that utterly, you know, flips up and down are under, you know, the mechanism that we think of in the universe, like the, the logic that we uh, sort of imply is always going to be there in the universe is totally upturned by something like quantum mechanics. It's just utterly different. Or even something we now take for granted, um, something like gravity. When Newton uh, coined gravity as a concept as we now understand it, Gravity, I mean, it's an absurd notion. It's like an occult force that draws together all the matter in the universe. It totally went against everyone's understanding. And even today, when we really, I mean, really, when you think about gravity, most people are just thinking of the force that draws everything down to the ground. We just happen to have a name for it. Um, but, um, so, you know, there are a lot of things in the history of science, for example, that have shown us that, you know, human brains are really developed for... Uh, I don't know, the African savanna, or, I mean, not really, but, you know, you know what I mean, the evolutionary environs that we find ourselves in, and really to address the social problems of uh, humans. Uh, but even then, uh, well, not even the social problems of humans, but uh, we have the capacities to act as individual humans, not necessarily to, uh, I guess, design society. Now, what I mean by that is, even in, I guess, social domains, um, reason breaks down pretty quickly. So if you take something, um, you know, let's take something like traditional gender roles, okay? So recently, I mean, especially since the 1960s, but there was a good bit of this going on beforehand, you know, people sat down and they said, um, well, guys, um, I don't think it's fair that, uh, or it doesn't make sense, there's no rational reason, for example, for there to be different social expectations of men and women. Okay, no, there's no rational reason for that. Um, and for them, that, that was true. They couldn't, they put their human logic to the test. They, you know, went around and, you know, tried to think up reasons and they couldn't find any. And so, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. There's no particular reason for uh, traditional gender roles. I mean, it's stupid to call them traditional gender roles. They're just gender, I mean, they're, they're just how men and women are in every society, including in our highly deconstructed, unself aware society. Um, so, you know, people, of course, uh, once you find, once you deduce that uh, this kind of cultural institution is irrational, um, you then have to deconstruct, you have to remove it from society uh, because, well, it, it would be irrational not to. Uh, so you get rid of, you basically lobotomize portions of human society that you can't figure out the purpose for. You know, it'd be like if some kind of culture... Uh, you, know, you know, in popular culture, I don't know if this is actually true, but, you know, the Egyptians didn't think the brain was useful for anything, so they extracted it from mummies. Now, let's say uh, the Egyptians thought that the brain was useless, so they extracted it from normal people, and they couldn't think of a rational reason for, you know, not to do that. That's sort of what we do to our culture, uh, and we do it because we have this 
sort of cargo cold understanding of rationality. Now, wh what is the problem? Now, I sort of alluded to it, but I didn't say it explicitly. The problem is that he, the, thing, the things we think of as rational, the, the concepts that are in our brain, the chain of deductive logic that we think of as being rational, that is not sufficient to sit down and plan society because the, we do not have every variable at play in our brains. And even if we did, it would be a little too much for us to analyze all at once. So uh, society, a good society is not one that's rationally planned. In fact, every single society that is rationally planned is a disaster it, and will always be a disaster because a, a rationally designed society is one that is only as, as, as capable as managing problems as one human brain. That's ultimately because something rational is really just something comprehensible to the human brain. Uh, but societies that exist, are, they're not planned. They're emergent. They grow over time. Social conventions grow and change, not because some journalist told me that uh, gender roles are irrational, therefore I'm going to force myself to change, but a kind of natural uh, trial and error process. Um, and that cultures do change. Not all cultural changes are bad. What I am critiquing is the kind of rationalistic mode of thinking where, you know, if I can't understand the reason for something, it's irrational. Um, now, I actually did a podcast episode on this. Check out my podcast, notrelated.xyz. That's the website. Um, I did a, a podcast episode on this, and it's all, also very common in psychology, for example, to look at um, things in the human brain and to say that they're irrational. So, like, you know, I'm out in the forest right now, as you can see. You know, let's say it, in a couple hours it's going to be really dark, and I might hear a rustle in the bush, Okay. Now, what actual chance is there of that being some kind of dangerous predator? I don't know, you know, 0.001% out here. Uh, it's not very high, but I am going to react as if it's, you know, 100% or, you know, 50% at least uh, if I hear that. You know, I have this irrational reaction. Uh, and you might, sit, you might sit down and say that that's an irrational thing, and that's an aspect of human psychology I'm not going to be able to change. Um, but the fact of the matter is, if I, if, if I have a false negative, uh, that's something that can kill me, but false positives don't. Uh, there's a big difference there. You know, human psychology, because in the same way that cultures grow via trial and error, human psychology has developed over a kind of trial and error. And a lot of the things that uh, smug Redditors will call irrational are really just aspects of our psycho psychology that have a very important and uh, basically vital use, and if we lobotomize that portion of our brain, uh, it would be disastrous, but they might not necessarily see the use or the origin of it. So what I want you to come away from this video from, I, I'm not really talking about anything particular in this video other than the idea that you can rationally sit down. And, um, you know, you're, you're a smart guy if you can say something like, um, you know, religion, Relig oh, religion's a good point, actually. I should, I should probably mention that before we go. You know, religion is an example of something which, if you sit down and you rationally ask yourself, does it really make sense that Jonah was eaten by a whale and blah, blah, blah? Does it really make sense? Does Hinduism really make sense? Does, you know, blah, blah, blah? Does any of these religions really make sense? Dude, I'm so smart because I realize this sounds stupid. Um, that you're missing the point if you do something like that. Um, when you look at a social institution like religion, your approach should not be, does it make sense to my rational faculties? You should look at it in terms of what does religion actually do for the people who practice it? What is its purpose? And honestly, if you want to have big-brained esoteric takes about religion, um, you can understand the mythology, true or false. I mean, mythology is beyond true and false, but you can all understand the mythos of, you know, even something that seems extremely irrational like religion in the light of its actual, what, how it actually serves um, people in society. Now, so anyway, what I want you to take away from this video is things that you do not understand the reason for, or things that you think are irrational. That doesn't mean that they're actually bad. And in fact, uh, things that can survive and appear irrational um, are probably things that are there for a very, very important reason and uh, a reason much more important than uh, you can probably anticipate. So that's what I want you guys to take away. So anyway, this has been another episode of Boomer Rants in the Woods. I will see you next time. Oh wait, I'm gonna wait till 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep the video running, but I will see you guys next time. See ya.